Well, Nicholas Ferro never met his father because he unfortunately lost his life in World War II. But over the years, he's learned more about his dad through stories and pictures. And recently he found something that's never been seen or heard before. News 12's Virginia Huey explains. When I was a little kid, um, I knew the other kids had a father, and I didn't have one. 77-year-old Nicholas Ferron of Islip has spent a lifetime missing a father he never met. Sergeant Nicholas Ferron Sr. was killed in action over the Pacific during World War II on November 8, 1944. His wife, Josephine, was pregnant with their only child, Nicholas Jr., when she received the tragic news. I never knew my father. All I knew was the stories that people told me about him. For years, Ferron filled the void in his life by collecting medals and photos of his father. But he recently discovered the most moving mementos of all. Go home, little girl, go home. Vintage vinyl records which captured his father's singing voice 81 years ago. They were in a box that my mother had put away with all the pictures and everything. And in the bottom of the box were two or three records. During the early 1940s, his father worked as a singing usher at the New York Academy of Music in Manhattan. Just a rose and a prayer. He put his musical career on hold after the attack on Pearl Harbor to enlist in the Army Air Corps. He was only 21 when he died. I mean, that's a baby, you know. And uh, he died for his country. But Ferone's hero father lives on in his music. Time was when we wrote love letters in the sand. Giving his namesake a chance to connect with his long lost father. Dreaming the time away. To hear the voice, it kind of like resonated in my soul. You know, it, it, it reached someplace deep down and something that was always missing came to fruition. The voice of a war hero and beloved father that'll be treasured for generations to come. To have the records gives me joy. I can pass it on to my, my children and to my grandchildren. And long after I'm gone, the voice will still be there. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.